I didn't really have an intro. Dark Souls! Oh, there you are. Yes, here You've I am. Quiet these days. Well, summoning out there. Anytime maybe I'm a bit busy. Be Can't be uploaded constantly. Be maybe Lasso's fucking difficult. Ever think of that? Hmm. Buddy. I would relish a chance to assist you. You should subscribe. That would assist me greatly. You really are fond of chatting with me, aren't you? Of course. If I didn't know better, I think you have feelings for me. Oh, oh shit. Me. Pretend you didn't hear that. <laughs> Best bisexual in video games. 10 out of 10, don't at me. Yes, he is bisexual, because he will say that regardless of your gender. He's just a good buddy. Whether or not that's a playful comment or a legitimate, uh... Pass at flirting is up for interpretation, I suppose. But, uh... I like to think he's uh, a friendly guy who wouldn't mind a quick smooch. You gotta, you gotta take the good company where you can get it. Unlike me in that horrible Silver Knight, which is a weakened version of the Black Knight. Sort of. Uh, they do respawn, so they're stronger in that regard, but they don't hit nearly as hard, those Silver Knights. That said, they do sport a slightly better shield. I think you can get most of the Silver Knight's gear in a chest. However, I think the shield is just a rare drop. But speaking of fixed loot drops, let's, uh, let's go over this way. So, in my opinion, a nice little bit of uh, design in terms of hiding secrets. There's a window here. If you look in, you can see there is, in fact, a staircase and a little doorway. But, were we to enter this room, it appears there is no such doorway. The message kind of gives it away, but yes, it is, in fact, an illusionary wall, and I believe that that is some of the best uh, environmental design slash hinting at slash whatever you want to call it in the game. That is, that is a fine example of it, which is interesting because this Anne Orlando, this actual castle bit is pretty good on design. Uh, Anne Orlando itself houses some of the worst design in the entire game. And speaking of things that are terribly designed, this nightmare, to be fair, it's, it's a bad design in the way that Lex Luthor is a bad guy. He's, he's a good character, but a bad guy. That's, that's a... It's a good design, it's just terrifying. That they're mimicked. But do you remember... Oh god, six or seven episodes ago. Old Hovel the Rock. This is his gear right here. Mr. Hovel. The Rock. Johnson. It is the best armor in the game in terms of defense. It's stupid heavy, though, so I'm not actually going to be using it, despite sporting his ring and the favor and protection ring, meaning I can have quite the heavy armor set. I find it's a little too heavy for me, as uh, I usually end up fat rolling with it. Okay. And I prefer the black iron set. That said, it is a popular armor for uh, douchebags who run ahead in the game at low levels so they can invade people in the starting areas with better gear and just beat the shit out of them. And yes, uh, they are horrible people. Douchebags, assholes. Gankers, hackers, pieces of shit. It's not a matter of get good at that point. It's a matter of you are a prick ruining the experience for somebody else. Showing up in the undead town in Hobble's armor. You're just a fucking asshole. Anyway, uh, the other people that use it are speedrunners. Far more legitimate. Not sarcasm. Speedrunners uh, pretty much keep to themselves in these games. And uh, they optimize strats. And Hobble's armor is good for one boss fight. So they use it. Go figure. It's good for this one boss fight, so obviously it's our option of choice. This is an empty room, except for the lore, which features a rather smiley boy over there. And uh, a lot of worm 
Mostly worm and drake heads. I think the big one might be a dragon. The rest of them are all worms and drakes and whatnot. Okay. Don't mean to be rude here, but, you know. Uh, whatever, whatever you're standing here guarding must be super important, so... I'll be taking it from you. Is the nub of my gist, sir. This is a robbery. Home invasion, if you will. I did break in here with the intent to murder its, uh... Most of its occupants. There's a few I won't be murdering. Probably won't murder him. He's not really worth going for. And, uh, you know, who who needs the church anyway, right? I mean, we got, we got other churches. There's, there's that big old painted cathedral just across the way. We don't need the in-home church. Why be lazy, you know? Maybe sometimes it's nice to get out of the house. Not put our giant demon there. What that guy's doing in that room is beyond me. Makes vast more sense for him to be in the much bigger one. Ya dig? There's that guy. But we could always run this way. Actually, that's the way to go. So we will be going this way. Bear with me here. Haha! -ha. You, sir, are terrible at this. I know grandmothers with better aim than you. Admittedly, they need to be holding things like hairbrushes or sandals, but they have better aim than you. They also take a sword to the back better than you. Christ alive. Hey, buddy! What are you doing over there? Can you, uh, can you go through and open the door for me there, champ? Praise the sun! Gorgeous view ahead. Heh, <laughs> 69. Nice. It is. That's, I mean, it's a little blown out, but otherwise a nice view. This is a much better view, I think. You got the, the wall, the beautiful mountainscapes, and the buildings in the foreground. That's just, well, I mean, it's a nice, nice layout. Anyway, gosh, we're seven minutes in and no one's messaged me on Discord or texted or called my phone. It's amazing. Are we going to break the streak? Because I'm like 0 for 4 in videos and not being interrupted. Charmer ahead. Woohoo! Yay! Hello, Dolly! This, this is a lovely painting, though, eh? Nice watercolor. These are all lovely. Well, I mean, that's flowers. But uh, portrait-wise, these are all lovely paintings. And the thing is, we don't know who most of these people are. They're kind of just... They exist. That is probably in Orlando, but I mean, looks a bit different. Her, we know who she is. It's a weird lighting effect on that. Whatever. Midriff's all out. Yes, that is what I took away from that painting. The midriff is out. She also just lies there like a French girl. I mean, really. Is France even a thing in this world? I hope not. I hope, with all the horribleness and awful that's in this world, at the very least, uh, Lordran escaped the horrible influence of France. Which I think... Oh. Are you aiming your bow at me? I can't tell. Genuinely can't tell what that man is doing. I thought I heard footsteps of him running up behind me. I did not, as it turned out. Ah, we. All right. What are you doing? I can't see. I think you're just holding your bow, like, at your side. Anyway, I'm going to go this way. Because I think that the way he was guarding is the way to go. Because it's our buddy! Hey, what's up? Whatever can be done. It's me. Hey, don't, don't ignore me. There we go. Were you repelled by the silver knight? Well, they're a bit, bit tough, I suppose. It is the fate of vanguards like you and I. Yeah. Don't think of something. We can overcome this together. Hmm, yes. Are you saying there's several in this room? Right ahead. Oh, dear. Oh, yeah. Hmm, I see. This is quite a fix. Yes, isn't it? Another three 
No, maybe five bodies. What, five? Quite a fix in Another five? You want seven V3? I mean, come on, man. The two of us can handle it. This is quite a fix. You'll need another three. No, maybe five bodies. Hmm. Buddy. Quite a fix indeed. You gotta have more faith in yourself. Look, I'll show you. Thanks for the message, by the way. I probably would have missed that guy. So, you know what? One more body, at least, to leave a message for me. Yeah, thank you for breaking that chair. It was being a real news. Stopping my circle around you strategy. You could also avoid shield. There we go. Uh. Avoid the shield check, you prick. There, see, I got one. Are we good, buddy? Huh? No. Alright, well. Here, I'll just, just heal right here. Okay, it's just the two of them. I'd appreciate... Well, alright, we've ganked one. Sure. Alright. Feel like they could have coordinated a bit better. Okay. He got Ted. Plan is, he'll run in, and you and I will rush him. Alright? Go! Meanwhile, the other guy is just like, hey, you know, I'm gonna wait and see how this plays out. I'm a third stringer. Come on, buddy. We don't need another five bodies for this. That's a, that's a lovely painting of Anna Rolando. I really like that one. That one's, I don't know. That one's nice and moody, atmospheric. One might say aesthetic. Come on. There we go. Oh. One of the guards in that painting. Damn, and that's me to scale, huh? What else we got? Uh, I don't know what that is. That... I think is a thing from... Hmm. Interesting. And, uh... Yep, yeah, there's big old man. Tiny soldier next to him. That's, like I said, a real gorgeous painting. They're all quite good, obviously, but, uh... What's on your mind? Wait. I, I got him. You defeated those monsters? Yep. Fantastic. I was saying... This... I commend you. No problem, dude. This as a token of my gratitude. Tiny beings ring, which isn't great, but you know, it's nice. Gallantry entails great risk. Next time, give me a chance to come up with a plan. <laughs> yeah, all right, buddy. Next time I run into you, we'll 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 see this through. Gallantry entails great risks, I suppose, but you know, fortune favors the bold and all that, buddy. I think this is the chest with the sweet. No, nope. I was gonna say the sweet, uh, sweet, sweet armor, but it's just some demon titanite, which again is good for boss gear. Yeah, if you convert the boss souls, which we're actually in the correct area to be doing that. That is a sarcastically big bow and arrow, sir. Did you see what I took out those guys on the fucking tower with the poison arrows? really all you need. You have a bow the size of a human that you're launching tent poles at. Absolutely ridiculous. There we go. Hey, what'd you drop? Oh, okay. One arrow. Fucking whoopty shit. Thanks, buddy. Couldn't even be the bow. It was just a single arrow. Huh, well, what are you gonna do? In here is the church with our buddy, Mr. Nopes a lot. And we're just gonna open up a shortcut real quick down here. Hey, I saw him! He's up the stairs! Yeah, I'll get him. No, work with me. Together, we can hold off the brigand. Yeah, well, you got it. But Steven! 
This is what we've trained our lives for. I was told to guard these chests. Are you serious? He's killing me, Steven. There's blood everywhere. Ah! Did you get him? Oh, no, you didn't. All right, pal, no touching these chests. Otherwise, I'm gonna be cross with you. Yep, these chests right here. You asked for it, Buster. <laughs> yeah, I got no idea what that dude's deal is. Really loves those chests. I mean, it makes him easy uh, if you need to run back from the uh, bonfire through here. Because a certain freaking goober. Alright, look now. Sick of you and your freaking lance of justice. Oh, I might die here. That's unfortunate. Good thing I opened the door first. Oh, crap. Oh, you sneaky bastard. I'm quite glad I opened that door. Yeah, hobble back to your chests for now. But I come back when I die. Yeah. What of it, scrub? I will have my vengeance. In the form of running a sword through your butthole. Like that. Hope you saw what I did to you. Did you drop anything? Hope you saw what I did to your friend there, mate. Steven, he's back! Yeah, but he's not going after the chests. You bat you! He did go for the chests! Yeah, but maybe he won't this time. You killed him! Help me! You've clearly proven you're better! Well, if he comes for the chests, then I'll kill him again. You asshole, Steven! Can't believe I let you sleep with my wife. I don't know. The narrative wasn't really going anywhere. It needed to throw a curveball. Now they're polygamists! Swingers more, really, I suppose. Also, he's married. Who to? No one knows. Maybe that demon in the other room. I can see that being a sort of uh, romantic comedy situation. Giant demon living in the church. Did you remember to pick up toilet paper? Oh, you. Can't stay mad at you. You're just so crazy. <laughs> Proceeds to murder him by stabbing him with a giant, insane, half-moon, like, scythe thing on the end of a stick. Anyway. No idea where I'm going. This is the armor, the sweet, sweet armor. It's actually not that good. It's fine armor, don't get me wrong, but it's not better than the old uh, Black Iron set. Nothing's better, in my opinion, than the old Black Iron set. In terms of defense versus weight, uh, the stone armor, there's a good case to be made for it. But, uh, nah, yeah, for my money, it's uh, Black Iron or nothing. Now, let's get to the, uh, the hot and fresh blacksmith over here. So this is interesting. This shattered window here does actually stand out, because unlike the one all the fucking way over there on the other side of Bad Designville, uh, you can actually see that this is broken and sort of walk up to it. And you can look out and be like, oh, you know what, I probably could stand on that. And doing so, a bit of an odd drop there, but it does reward you. You can, in fact, walk around up here. And that is your only way. That's a bit of a narrow drop, though. <laughs> Probably could have made that a little bit easier. Your only way of getting that. And what is the way? Ah, yes, this is the way out through here. Which is fine, this is sort of hidden. You're only, it's literally the only way out up here, and this is a small area. Ah. Bet you forgot about those guys. They are not the most effectual. What's my ratio on them? I think it was like I fought five and three of them fell to their death. Alright, so now I've fought seven. And I've actually properly killed four of them. 
Oh, he's precariously perched. Can we break even? Oh, no, we got two. All right, we won't be breaking even no matter what happens. And fell to his death. All right. We're at a, we're at a 500 ratio. Which is fun because that's how many souls you get. Let's go, buddy. Whose team are you going to play for here? Oh, looks like it's going to be Team Murder. Nope, alright, he... I barely even shoved him. Alright, a resounding 5-4 split on uh, properly killed the things that can fly versus fell to their death. What do you think about that giant hunched over blacksmith man? I'm token. You can do that. I would also prefer a subscription to my YouTube channel. Anyway. Uh, reinforce. What do I... I need to get you to plus ten, obviously. Uh, where is the halberd? Not the Black Knight halberd, the regular ass halberd. Did I already make it divine? Hold on. Obviously, we need to repair all this. I wonder if he'd let me... No, he won't let me reinforce the uh, plus five stuff. Still, though, always good to repair your equipment and weapons and whatnot. Uh, yeah, okay, I got all that. Mm-hmm. I could... Oh, okay, now there's an update. I was gonna... <laughs> I was gonna say I got messaged on my phone, but it was just a notification. Uh, what do you sell? He sells Twinkling Titanite, which he only has two of them. But that's good for updating my armor. Uh, maybe my shield as well? I don't remember. Uh, yeah, yeah, it is. Sure, I'll pop that. Uh, unfortunately, where's my Black Knight set? Somewhere here, yep. Yeah. That also requires Twinkling Titanite. I gotta farm Twinkling Titanite. Which is a tedious process I'll have to do off camera, but at least I'll show off where you can farm Twinkling Titanite. Best places for it and whatnot. More to the point, however, uh, I guess I could just purchase. Oh, he also has green Titanite charts. I kinda need those. I think I do. Alright, let me let me get these two. How many did... Oh, I'm holding two. How many does he have, just in total? I don't know. Um, let me get... I think... Hold on, because it's like... One, one, two... Two... And then... Oh, I can't even... Ooh. But do you only have six? Because... No, okay, yeah. He'll have more. Come out soon. Let me pop some souls. At a certain point, I feel like gear is more important than leveling up. I'm probably not at that point yet, to be perfectly fair. However, I am at a point where gear is super important. And, like, I have the souls for it, so I'm really future prepping at this point, if that makes any sense. Sort of like how I did early in the game when I, uh... Wasted a bunch of level ups on getting two attunement slots. Which, oh god, I need to go and do that after this. Alright. <sighs> Got a lot to do. Okay, uh, let's see. Purchase item. I bought six of you. Give me three. I think nine will let me upgrade to a plus five for uh, divine weapons. But I need to head back to the blacksmith in Undeadburg. Because I think I gave him the Divine Ember. Or if I didn't, then I'm holding on to the Divine Ember and I need to give it to him. One or the other. That said, get those. And let me reinforce... How many Twinkling Titanite do I have? I think I bought four. That would get me a plus one for each. You're probably what I want first. Question is, do I be consistent about the upgrades? Do I min-max into one? Uh, it's a seven-point jump in 
general defense, though, for the torso. It's only a two point for the helmet and three for the gauntlets and leggings. That said, it will bother me if I'm running around in, like, plus three armor with uh, no other pluses and stuff. Eh, fuck it. I do draw a line there, though. Let's optimize. Now it's plus four. Anyway. Uh, yeah, that'll do. Thanks for, uh, thanks for the stuff. It was actually really useful. And let's open this little door right here, which I actually will run through. Because before I... Okay. <laughs> before I go giving up on the boss fight and summoning, uh, let me give myself the mild advantage of resting at the Firelink Shrine... Or the... Not the Firelink Shrine. The Firekeeper's Bonfire that is just up there uh, for the sweet 10 Estus Flasks before I go take on this boss fight. Because we got the most famous duo in probably all of From Software's pedigree coming up here. Is it the most famous boss? It's definitely the most famous duo. In all of FromSoft, is it the most famous boss? Uh, uh Yeah, probably. I was thinking, like, what are what are From Software's other big hit games? And obviously, there's Bloodborne and uh, Sekiro. But uh, I was thinking Armored Core, and it was like, you know what? As uh, as big as Armored Core is, I'd be damned if I can name a single boss from it. And they had a horror game uh, set in Japan, feudal Japan. Uh, can't remember it. I remember it exists. I can't remember its name or its bosses. Uh, Ornstein and Smo are easily, like I said, the most famous duo. Probably, I'd say Ishin is probably the most famous boss from Sekiro. From Bloodborne. Uh, Orphan Akaz? Just because it's so obnoxiously difficult. And I do mean obnoxiously difficult. That guy, Orphan Akaz, is uh, just a fucking runaway freight train. Hey, girl. Don't mind me. Just here for the 10 Estes. Anyway. Hmm. Bloodborne famous bosses. Uh, I think the beast ones kind of are more famous than the human ones. Which, I mean, there are more beast bosses. Uh, so... I mean, Cleric Beast, possibly because he's so early, and therefore subsequently more people know about him, rather than, like, say, one of the later ones. Like, um... Rom. Or Mikolash. Mikolash isn't a monster, but, uh... What's, what's the one right before Mikolash? Not the Blood Starved Beast. Uh... The... Splooge of the Nightmare or something. Waking Nightmare? I don't remember. The big old horrible thing and like the, uh... It's actually an area not dissimilar to this, I suppose, but there's like railings along the sides. It's, uh... A bit of a looker. Moon Presence? No, no, that's not it. Ah, oh, what? It's gonna kill me not remembering what that boss's name is. This is why I'm gonna move over into streaming more regularly. Uh, I could have a chat here yelling at me about it and I'd be like, Oh yeah, that's what it is, thanks. Of course. Because right now I'm like, well, what are you going to do? But yeah, for anyone watching, I'm uh, probably... I'm currently playing this Yu-Gi-Oh! and Reach Lasso. And once I am done with... Wow! Really, once I get it set up, and uh, once Yu-Gi-Oh! and this are done, Halo will be its own thing, because I sort of need to record that when Nathan is uh, around, because I'm uh, running through all the Halo... Why am I going this way? Running through all the Halo games with him co-op. Um, so yeah, once... Uh, okay, that was a bit, bit of a close shave on that one. So yeah, Halo's an exception, but uh, once this... Ow. And Yu-Gi-Oh! are done, I'm gonna, uh... 
I'm looking at streaming more regularly. I've got games lined up that I want to stream. I want to uh, do Paper Mario. That was requested of me, and I got... I don't even know. I got... Where did I get? I beat the pirate area. And I think that was where I got... I think the pirate area was the last one I did. And, uh... My fucking computer exploded and I lost all my save data, so that was that was peachy. So I'll probably uh, end up streaming Paper Mario. I have a Pokemon randomizer set up and ready to go. I want to do the Ratchet and Clank games. Probably my new game plus of this I want to get into. I've gotten into with this quarantine uh, achievement hunting in games, like going for perfects. I've, uh, in the time since quarantine has started... I've gotten all the achievements in The Outer Worlds and Shadows of the Damned, which is a little bit of a sleeper cult hit on the 360 and PS3, but you're playing it for the gamer score, am I right? <coughs> uh, in addition, I haven't done the DLCs for them, nor do I plan to, but I've also gotten all the achievements in Dishonored and Dragon Age 2. Which, uh, it's been really fun, actually. Uh-oh, Tranquil Walk and Peace, fuck off! It might have been Wrath of the Gods, actually. I can't remember which one is which. All I know is, uh, Tranquil Walk and Peace and Wrath of the Gods is a popular, uh, douchebag build for invading in low-level areas. Tranquil Walk and Peace means, uh, you lose a bunch of stamina, and Wrath of the Gods is like a big force push thing, so that it will, uh, knock you off cliffs. Or just, like, knock you back in general. Alright, we both took some hits there. I, percentage-wise, took way more than you. I want that on the record. Uh, you've also got a buddy. That's not fair. I'm also trying to preserve my Estus. You are just trying to preserve your life. So I'm clearly at a disadvantage. You're just showing off. I don't know what that's about. 360 no spear or whatever. <clears throat> so yeah, I'm, uh, in addition to just gameplay streams and, like, weird, fun little hangout-y streams, uh, I'm looking at, uh, doing achievement streams where I'm trying to perfect the game. And by perfect the game, I mean play what I have. Like I said, I didn't do the Witches of Dunwall DLC or any of the Dragon Age 2 DLC, purely because I didn't own it. I am currently playing Mass Effect 2. The only achievement I have left to get is to beat it, woo, on Insanity. Uh, which is going well. I have, like, one mission away before the suicide mission. The ending doesn't even really need to be that good. Everyone could die, as far as I'm concerned. I did the loyalty missions for the hell of it, but, uh... Really? I'm just sort of, uh... Are you healing, you piece of shit? He's healing that piece of shit. Really, I'm just sort of hoping that, uh... I did the loyalty missions because, I mean, it's Mass Effect 2. It's fun. But I'm just hoping I get an ending. I don't really care. As long as I get the achievement, I don't care who lives or who dies. I suppose I need enough to be alive, because uh, I do have the Shadow Broker DLC, which has its own set of achievements. Meaning I... The only one I haven't gotten in that one is beating it on Hardcore or Insanity. There's an option, for some reason. Sort of like why I'm bothering with these assholes. I might just have to pop an Estus before, because he's nearly full health. I've been wailing on the... Alright, look. PULL OUT YOUR FUCKING SHIELD! Fuck this. I'm gonna open this door. Pull the damn lever. I'm gonna fucking homeward bone. You guys don't deserve the time of day. Fucking Christ, man. What was with those guys? <clears throat> Other games. So like I said, I'm currently working on Mass Effect 2. I'm also, uh... Like I said, I'm probably gonna do achievement streams once I start streaming, because why the fuck not? Included among them, I sort of just looked at, like, what 360 games I have, because... I used to own an X-Bone, but then I got rid of it because I never used the damn thing. Um, we'll probably end up getting the new Xbox console, honestly, just for the achievements. 
over the trophies on PlayStation, even though I prefer Sony and their uh, business practices, honestly. Uh, hoping that the uh, online marketplace is more or less the same on the new Xbox as it is on the Xbox One, because I have the Game Pass for PC, and uh, I'd love to also have that and get some uh, free games for some easy achievos. More importantly, however, the, the ones on 360 that I'll probably end up streaming once I start doing that. Uh, I have to do some interesting playthroughs in Deus Ex Human Revolution. Like the no kill except for the bosses, no detection, uh, play the difficult... Sorry, play on the hardest difficulty. Do the side missions and all that. I'll probably crank the difficulty down to the easiest and then uh, do that. And then I need to do it on like the hardest difficulty. So that's like a two, maybe three playthrough game. Which I'm kind of used to. I had to play through... Uh, I had to play through Shadows of the Dam like three times. Uh, I had to... I only had to do Dragon Age 2 once. I only have to do Mass Effect 2 once because I had pretty much every other achievement. So I boosted a few like little miscellaneous ones, like disrupt 25 enemy shields, and I just started my insane playthrough. Uh, but the other one is Final Fantasy 13, which I know is... I think it's a bit divisive in the uh, Final Fantasy community in terms of how good a game it is, but uh, I have it on Xbox, never beat it. <sighs> the achievement list doesn't look too bad, honestly. There's, a, there's walkthrough guides to get all the achievements for it. So I'll probably just end up doing that. It's a, it's a solid thousand gamer score if I get it. Ornstein and Smo, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, buddies. All right. I could talk for a while about why this boss fight is so well designed. I won't. Because everyone, ow, and their sister has. Yes, I'm going to highlight the things in this game that I think are badly designed, and I'll skip over the good design. Alright, maybe... Maybe I'm a little too confident, and I do, in fact, need a, a buddy here. Or maybe I'm exactly... I'm doing not terrible damage to uh, Ornstein. If I can get that bleed on him, too, that would be great. It would be great if they hit each other. Like, did damage to each other. Bad time to stop the, uh, the running back and do the full turnaround instead there, Dark Souls man. Come on. I know you want some. Not you, Ornstein. Or no, absolutely you, Ornstein. Not you, Smo. Where are you going? You stay back. Alright, you fiend. Fun fact, Ornstein... I don't know how he hit me there. And why I didn't react in any way when he hit me. Ornstein... Not Ornstein. God, I keep calling the fat one Ornstein. Smo's a cannibal. That is... That is cannon, that is. He, uh... He eats people. And whereas old Dragon Slayer... Whoa! Alright, that was a bit rough. Dragon Slayer Ornstein is, uh... You know, one of Gwyn's... Good old knight buddy buddy boys. <laughs> Shoved his friend. Ornstein is a uh, he's a bro. He's you know part of the elite group of uh, knight huntsmen the king keeps around. Uh, Smo is not because he's a cannibal. We're at least the lore is pretty clear that he is a cannibal, and we're just. It's said he's not in it because he uh, committed some crimes himself. We're pretty sure uh, it has to do with the cannibalism. But, you know, he hangs out. He's friends with Hornstein, clearly. They're hanging out together. Did I get that bleed? Oh, hell, who cares if I got the bleed? Smo is behind me. Him and his man tits, come on. Got this between us. See, the columns are good for just breaking up the fight. You might be thinking, this boss doesn't look so bad. I'm very good at this game. 
I'd go through and get all the achievements on this game if I could. But I don't have it on 360 and I don't feel like uh, booting it up again to get the achievements. I did play it on PC when it first came out, which means I have some Windows Live achievements for it. So riddle me that one, but Windows Live isn't a thing anymore. So. He just fucking murdered that man! That's right, he murdered that man. Now he's Lightning Hammer Ornstein. Fuck! Lightning Hammer Smoke. Let's go, Zappy Tits. I bet if you motorboat him, it tingles. And now he's, he's mad. He's coming after me. Come on. Excellent music in this place. Dark Souls is always, regardless of criticism on the game itself and the design, I believe Dark Souls is always, like, praised for its music. Which is quite good. I think also since I've last played, uh, Demon Souls got announced for the PS5. Which, uh, hey, good on it. That's a game I started on this channel and never got around to beating, because, uh, I beat it once in my life, and, uh, King, King Alant is, uh, a real bitch. That, that's a, that's a doozy of an attack. I will, uh, I'll be the first to admit that. Chug a lug. Can I beat it without using all ten of my... Can I beat it with only using five S... Okay, you know what? I really wish he'd stop using the fucking... Shovel move, as it is. It puts the hammer down and just charges at you. Yeah, that one. Knock it off. I'll approach you and fight you like a man when you stop doing that. Until then, I'm just using this cover. Gonna stop doing it? Nice. Alright. Whoa there, champ. Listen, Thunder Thighs. Get it? Thunder Thighs. Ho <laughs> ho! The jokes! It's really more lightning, but, you know. Listen. We work with what we have. What that guy has, yo, is Mantis. He's also quite tall. I think you can get his armor. It's just silly looking because your head is, like, coming out of his neck hole. God, he's a big dude, though, isn't he? Not not just in terms of girth, I mean in, like, height as well. Someone signed this man for a college football career. VT could use him. Go Hokies. Anyway. Here comes shit. Alright, well, at least, you know, I defended for that one, so... See, I like that move. Well, I mean, if I could follow through on that move. Maybe. It seems... Uh, he is more... He's harder to approach than I remember. I admit, it's been... I haven't played this since the Rekindled Edition came out two years ago. But I seem to remember him being easier to approach. Speedrunner's weak. Definitely don't remember that having that big of a hitbox. Bleeding effect for the win, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, well, I, I did have to use... Honestly, uh, maybe I probably could have gotten away with only five Estus. I only used six, and I... Uh... It's not like I lost enough health to justify uh, a death after I used the last one. I think I, I think I would have barely scraped by with five. Who knows what would have happened, you know? RNG and the Mysteries of Life are fickle, aren't they? See, I could have summoned for uh, Solaire there, but hey, guess what? First try, no summon. I am level... what is it? <laughs> I'm level leave, yeah. I am level... Uh, 50. First try, level 50, no summon. Come at me. Anyway. Endurance. Dex is good. Throw a little bit in vitality, and that's all I can do. Let's take care of some business. Is it amazing chest ahead? Oh, it is! Let's see it for ourselves, shall we? Hello, nurse. You have not moved since that painting, I see. Thou hast journeyed far, and overcome much. Chosen undead. 
Yes, I have. I, I'm here, but I'm not sure. Ah! Oh, chosen undead, I am Guinevere, daughter of Lord Gwyn and Queen of Sunlight. Since the day your father is formed it obscureth, I have awaited thee. I bequeath the Lord Vessel to thee. Yay! Even better than the rock in tits are this Lord Vessel, which lets me warp between bonfires. Succeed Lord Gwyn, and inheriteth the fire of our world. Thou shalt endeth this eternal twilight, and avert further undead sacrifices. Well, far be it from me to question things. Giant smiling women with their tits out tell me what to do. She is just... Oh, the arms are a bit... I think the arms are a bit off. They're very skinny compared to the rest of her, like... I, I'm not trying to be that guy, but let's be fair here. The thighs, hmm, quite thick. Those arms, those really, uh, quite skinny. Skinny on the arms, not sure what that's about. All the fat must have gone to, like, the hips, legs, and tits. It's astonishing. Probably the butt, can't really get a good look at it. Can't see, can't really see the feet either, that's a crime. They put a veil deliberately over the feet to ruin it for people... Uh, who aren't me. Who want to see them giant toes. Anyway, thanks for the shit. Uh, let's go to the Undead Parish. Huzzah! The Undead Parish! We should also check in with Frampt, I mean, really. He told us go to Anor Orlando. We went to Anor Orlando. Did I give you the Divine Ember? I think I did. I'd very much like my uh, halberd, please. Mm. Well, I've never heard of a black ember. Okay. Mm. How about leaving that ember with me? I mean, yeah, sure. Strangely fascinating. I'm sure this won't go badly. I have the Dark Ember. Well, thank you. I feel bad about giving it to him. Interesting. Anyway, um... No, I don't want it plus six. Oh, wait. Uh, I need... Not raw, not green. Oh, wait, yes, green. Because I was just looking at the... The... I don't know, I saw raw, and then I looked up at the required... Uh, shit. Yeah, let's, let's get, make you a divine, Halberd. Anyway, uh, can I make you a lightning... I can't make it. I don't remember where the uh, the ember is, but I kind of want to make it a lightning longbow. I'll figure it out. Anyway, uh, oh, do I need to be plus ten? I might need to be plus ten to make it a lightning longbow. And eh, we'll figure it out. Uh, yes, reinforce weapon. Don't make me run back and fucking... Ugh, oh, I'm going to have to run back and buy a goddamn... I'm going to be one short, aren't I? I'm going to be super pissed if I'm one short. Mother... Mm. You wait right here. I'm not having this plus four Divine Halberd. I'm in a plus five Divine Halberd, and you're gonna like it. And then I have an errand to run in your area anyway. Uh, no. Chamber of the Princess. Oh, yeah, I can also go, uh, back to, um... Uh, Quayleg's sister in her domain. Anyway, hi, I am here. Can I survive the fall? It's gonna be real embarrassing if I can't. Uh, where's the... Oh, here they are. Elevators. You have enough health, you can survive that fall. I have no idea if I have enough health or not, though. I have, uh, I have not leveled up my health quite as much as a, uh, as a noob might. Or even, you know, a min-maxer would. I gotta buy Green Titanite from this guy. I'm not here for you. I already killed your mistress. Or er, your masters, not your mistress. Met with your mistress. Lovely girl. We're buddies now. Could you stop trying to kill me? You especially. Guy who doesn't understand how bows work, I'm assuming. Can I have a shield? Well, what are you gonna do? 
What are you gonna do? Alright, so what do I need? Oh, actually, what am I gonna do? Uh, I need to go there. I need to go there. There's a lot of places I need to go. I think going there is more... Not more important, but it's a good way to end the, uh, the episode. Uh, what up, buddy? Anyways, uh, let me get some of that sick green titanite you're holding on to. Look, don't tell me what to do. Especially when it's at odds of what my wife wants. Way! Anyway. Speaking of, I'm looking over at her computer. She's playing The Sims. Well, she's paused at The Sims. Normally, whenever I'm recording at this point, she wanders off into another room. Well, uh, me. No idea why. Privacy for me? Who knows? Privacy for her? Eh. I was about to say, wait a minute, he's lightning, and I'm like, ah, yeah, he's got the lightning long spear. Get yourself neither. So how do I make it lightning? Anyway, I've got a divine halberd now. I should be able to wield that, no problem. We'll, uh, we'll get to that when we get to that, but... Uh, I already rested you. For now, we have a job to do. Cleared out this room long ago. Many episodes ago, I ran down and got... Uh, some armor at the presence of a Hydra. Some of you may remember this. Now, this isn't exactly the most obvious thing, and you're going to be hearing me say that rather a lot uh, over the next few episodes, because this is where the game it, like, opens up at this point, and there's... We basically need to kill uh, four more bosses, minus the DLC. And then, like, the last big guy shows up. When I say we need to kill four more bosses, I mean four more big main bosses. I think there's one before him. Uh, there is three before her. There aren't any before him. And there's one before him. So... Good lord, eight more bosses? Eight more bosses and then the final boss. Again, not counting the DLC, which uh, we will... Uh, I will probably do the DLC before I finish the game. Depends how I'm feeling. I'm very hit or miss on the DLC, by which I mean it's a good DLC, but I don't like that Artorias kicks my ass in it. Honestly, I was surprised this game got DLC in the first place. It was very much a sleeper hit. Sort of known for good but janky. And then... Like, along came the DLC. It, it was just a surprise, you know? It was like, really, of all the games to get DLC, this one... I wasn't complaining, like I said, it was it's good DLC, it's just surprising. Don't you do that. Just come fight me. Actually come fight me. I can't really see. You gotta you gotta be careful. Alright. I think I got ahead. I did get ahead. Excellent. I'll be the head of a major corporation yet. Alright, look, buddies. This is not about you. Protect thyself! Alright. Now then. You and me, beastie. You think that would have just, you know, killed me. He's going down like a chump. I already got three hit. Okay, listen. About the dang golems. Can we cool it with the golems? Those are my thoughts on the golems. Thanks for coming to my golem talk. I got his little snoot. This is gonna be bad for me. Yeah, it worked out all right, actually. See, the I can't really see where the edge is. Oh boy, this is gonna be an issue. 
I can't see where the, the edge of the beach is. Cause it is a sharp drop off, let me tell you. Ugh. I didn't work so hot. Don't do the water screen. The water screen. I can't really see where the edge is. So I gotta I got get close enough to hit the thing. Got another head. Honestly, if I just stay here at this point. No, I mean, there's this head. Still going. Come on, man. You got two left. Alright, really now. You're not even aiming at me. That one did. Bravo to that guy. I didn't hit him at all. Come on, then. Alright, see, I'm not going to... Look, I can kind of see the edge right there. I have limits here, guys. Are you done? You got one head. Are you even going to hit me if I'm standing here? Or is it just going to be the water treatment? Because I got a bow and arrow. I'll just settle this right now. Well, I mean, you got close. Eh. You going to keep getting that close? Or you going to... Yeah, okay. Listen. I think you're a beautiful creature. I love you, but... I don't know why I thought that would hit. But listen, we all got places to be. I don't have time to sit here. All right, listen. No need to get sassy with me because you're being difficult. There, I got it. All right, Hydra slain. For the record, thank you. Uh, for the record, if you do manage to uh, chop off all his heads uh, before his health bar is completed, he will die. It's not just a... It's not just a stump. So have no fear about that. Now that now that he is slain, we can walk along the coastline here. For some excellent treasure hidden behind him. And I don't mean as obvious as it would be for me to mean there, that is not what I am referring to. Although, if you want to save yourself $20,000, you can just go up that way. We'll get to that later. So, oh, I need to do that other thing first, don't I? Alright, so do you remember when I said the design here isn't great? So, something spawns in this little cove here once you defeat uh, the Hydra. However, it only do it once the area reloads. So let's just go ahead and take care of that. Remastered edition. They didn't bother to fix that. There he is. I say fix that like it's a problem. That's because it is. I spoke correctly. Anyway. Let's go, Chongo. Which I realize is both a reference to uh, Big Chungus. I'm just saying Chongo instead of Chungus. Uh, and the show Danger Island. So shout out to my Danger Island fans. I admit the character of Chongo, probably racist. Uh, that said, there's a woman here. <laughs> uh, yeah, character of Chongo, probably racist. Uh, at the same time, I just kind of like saying the word Chongo. And I'm sort of comparing it to Chungus because he's fat, whatever. Uh, it just happens to be the character, an unfortunate character in a very old show. Look it up if you're so inclined. I'm simply butchering how one says Chungus into Chongo. So, it's also a combination of Chonkers and Chungus. Most gracious, I am deeply obliged. Yeah, you, what, what do you think about Chungus there, Dusk of Ulusil? Your time traveler? I cannot stay here for long. What are you doing here then? 
Before I disappear, allow me to ask one thing. Yes. Hot dogs or tacos? Ancient sorcery. True. I'll go with true. Is to pass this profound knowledge to thee, with thine approval. Would this be of assistance to thee? Yes, it would be. I am pleased beyond words. Then I shout. That dress is ruined, which is a shame. It is a lovely dress. Look at that. It's got, you know, uh, flowers on it. That is, a, that is a beautiful dress. Oh, she's got a little pendant there. Oh, that's cute. It was adorable. And then she pieces out. That always kind of confused me. It was like, uh, thanks for rescuing me. Uh, I don't have anything to give you except I can teach you sorceries. Would that help? And you'd be like, yes or no. And if you're like, no, she's like, well, that's a shame. I got a bit of a club foot going on. That is... That's interesting. If you're like, no, she says, well, that's a shame. And pieces out. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, if you're like, yes, she's super happy about it. And then leaves. And you're like, wait, what? So we head back over here. Not up the ladder yet, still. Probably, probably... Oh, yeah, I might go up the ladder, who knows. And I probably will go up the ladder, all things considered. Well, maybe I won't. Uh, yeah. You're like, hey, what's that? That doesn't look like a message. That looks like a summon sign. Why, yes, it is indeed a summon sign, but it's not for monster battling. No, no. Any golems? Are okay, no, no golems around here. Pop this summon sign, and who is it but Dusk herself? And it's like, why didn't you just teach me your sorceries and whatnot when I was whatever. Because you, you summoned her back from her other time period. By the way, in addition to the uh, very nice dress with the, the gloves and everything, super pretty crown. I like that crown a lot. <laughs> a lot of hair, though. Got, you know, looking at her front on, it's like, ah, oh, you know, she's got a bit of a short haircut. She needs a lot of hair to pull that look off. I am Dusk of Ulysseo. Yes, we've met. It is an honor to see thee again. I shall follow thine wishes. Ah, uh, well, first teach me the proper bow, thanks. I've been a heathen, been bowing improperly this whole time. I will take Cast Light. Thank you very much. What's up? For a very long time, I was trapped within the Crystal Golem. Yeah, I saw that. In my home, I was taken, banished to a plane of distortion. What, here? It was there. That thou came to my rescue. You were banished Long in a golem. I had relinquished all hope. So gleeful was I. My faith renewed. Babe, that's where I specialize. Once people have given up all hope, I swoop in to save the day. And they're like, you know what? I'll take it. It's better than nothing. That is what I strive to be. The sorceries of Ulysseo differ from the magic of thy name. Yeah, they're like cosmetic and shit. difficult to explain. Ulysseo's sorcery. Doth one say? <laughs> They're somewhat of an approximation. You might have seen. More straightforward. <laughs> Negating. You, you might have seen some of the sorceries there beyond there cast light. Um, you can change yourself. Presence. This is a PvP thing, but you have. There's a spell that will change you into, uh, like a barrel or a statue, depending on the area. So you can blend into the environment and maybe ambush somebody or hide from somebody even. Uh, there's one, two. One will just straight repair, one will turn you invisible, chameleons, that one. Hidden weapon hides the weapon you're holding, again, for a PvP thing. So that you can, uh... You know, you approach and he's like, oh, he doesn't have a weapon, and then BAM! Hit him with something. Or better, uh, you... Oh, they don't, they don't know what I'm holding. It could be a Black Knight Halberd, or it could be like a Crystal Greatsword. We'll never know. The sorcery. Alright, we heard this. Anyway, that's all I needed. Pray summon me again. Yeah, I'll, to be of assistance. I'll do that. Guide yeah, sure, flames. Um, all right, let's head to a bonfire, learn this new sorcery, and we will wrap up the episode. Beat Anne Orlando. That's always nice. That's always good. Ornstein and Smo again. First try. Actually, I'll just go to the bonfire that's like over here. Why run all the way back up the gardens when there is uh, a perfectly good one? Can this guy with the club who just stands still fuck off? 
Like, he's been dogging me ever since I got into this forest. I don't know what his deal is, but, uh... He's freaking me out. Anyway, um... Right. Bonfire over here. That guy's, uh... Fighting a black knight, I wager. Oh. I went the wrong way. That's the, uh... That's Jordan Bonfire. Nice convenient bonfire right here. Uh, tune. I have a lot of uh, pyromancy, actually, that I could learn. Uh, there's Vow of Silence, which requires 30 intelligence. No thanks, I just need Cast Light. Or 30 Faith, sorry, is Vow of Silence. Which requires 14 intelligence. And a Catalyst, which I definitely have? Did I sell my catalyst? Okay, no, I got a sorcerer's catalyst. Sure. Okay. All right, that's going to be it for this episode. When we come back, uh, we're going to talk to Frampt, now that we've got the Lord Vessel, and see what he's got for us. So until then, thank you so much for watching. I've been Token. Talk to you later, shooting negotiators, and see you around Asklands.